Chandra from Mysteries of Writing. If you're new to this channel, welcome, it's great to have you here. And today we're going to do the cat and booktube tag, except we're going to be doing it with little doggies. Oh, and so that's why we've got Gigi. And we're going to be talking about Gigi, even though she's not officially my dog. But yeah, I kind of lost my baby, so I've adopted her. Mm -hmm. So I think it is called Cats on Booktube or something like that. I first originally saw this video on Ola Quinn's channel and if you haven't checked out her channel yet, she's absolutely awesome. She has done some really cool tags and she's created some really cool tags, one of them being the Goodreads Picks My Makeup tag. And I actually did that tag video, you can watch that up in the cards over there. And you can go check out her channel in the description box down below. I'll also be linking the original creator of this tag. Question number one, tell us about your dog, so that's name, age and hobbies and all of that. So here's Gigi, she's not too impressed about being held up right now. She's four years old. Yes, aren't you? Okay. So she's four years old and her hobbies include sleeping all day long, nagging for attention, especially when somebody else is getting attention, and especially when you don't give her any more attention. Do you see her? Anyways, uh, what are her other hobbies? She loves running around in the grass like a little princess and yeah, pretty much treating everybody like she runs the world. Yes, she owns the world. Number two, recommend a book that features or includes a dog and I really couldn't think of any out of the books that I want to recommend. So I'm just going to go with the original question which is about cats and I'm going to go with Nevernight because there's that shadow cat that's really awesome that she has. It's her best friend and yeah. Number three, what is your favourite fictional dog in a movie, TV, book, series, whatever, it could be in anything that you want. So I'm going to say my favourite dog is definitely Hachiko. If you haven't watched this movie, it's absolutely amazing and oh he's such a darling. Shame I cried at the end. It's the most amazing movie ever. Number four, if your dog was the main character in a book, what would the story be about? So I actually found this one difficult as well and I asked my entire family for some help. I don't know why I found it difficult, but then if you think about her attitude and how she is, it would basically be a book where she thinks she's the queen and she gets all pampered and everything. So basically wherever she's like top person type thing. So I'm kind of thinking like that Chihuahua movie, you know, Chihuahuas or what was it called? Chihuahuas in something. I'll link the movie up over here, okay? <laughs> Number five, recommend a book that your dog would absolutely love if they could read. So I'm thinking maybe something like How to Be Popular by Meg Cabot because she literally does think she's so fantastic and something like Mean Girls, if that makes sense. Almost like that movie Mean Girls because I'm thinking a lot of things like that. I think that movie has kind of like Mean Girls vibes and based on the fact that she's such a cheeky so-and-so, I think it would really be rather fitting for her. Otherwise, maybe she'd just read the Dictionary of Dreams since she sleeps all day. Okay, question number six I found really difficult and so I'm not going to answer it. And then question number seven is to get my dog to choose a next book for me to read, which I'm not going to do either. And question eight is to tag some dog lovers because it says cat lovers and... I'm just tagging everybody that loves their dogs, so you guys go and do that, you're all tagged. Anyways, that's it for now, let me know if you're a cat or dog person in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a big like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe.